Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an end screen for your YouTube video with Filmora 11. Okay, so I'm going to show you, show you step by step on how to create the end screen and how to adjust the duration of the end screen to fit with the YouTube requirement. Okay, and I will also show you how to save that end screen for later use. Okay, so it is very easy. All right, let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so here's the start page of Filmora 11. So the first thing you want to select the aspect ratio right here. For YouTube, it's better to select 16 by 9. Okay, and then click here to create a new project. And the first thing you want to create an end screen, which is a template that you can put the video, your recent video and subscribe button at the end of your video okay and the end screen duration should be 20 second or 25 second according to YouTube requirement alright so the first thing you want to go to stock media then go to pizza bay okay so this is a free platform for you to download uh, video and images uh, online it is free completely free to use and it is integrated in Filmora 11 okay so at the video tab here select video and then search for end screen it is easy right so press enter and now you have a bunch of different end screen for your video if you like any template right here you can just double click to download the end screen and then preview it okay for example I think this one look fine and I can double click and we have a video here thanks for watching my suggestion subscribe for more video and watch next so you have two video on the left side one on the on the left side and one on the right side and you have the subscribe button uh, at the center okay for example you want to use this one okay so the first thing you want to drag and drop it onto the timeline by the way because I want to make a 20 second long video so uh, I'm going to do this first I'm going to select the media and then select the sample color so I want to write and drop one sample color and then change the duration of the sample color to 20 seconds okay just right click and select duration and now change it to 20 seconds and press enter so now we know that at this position on the timeline is 20 seconds and now we can just add a marker here on the timeline to add a marker, we can press M on our keyboard and now we can delete this one and go back to the media folder here. Uh, I'm sorry, go back to the stock media here and then select the end screen again, select end screen. Okay, and then we can drag and drop this one, the one that we selected and downloaded. Okay, just drag and drop it onto the timeline okay and we can map to media at 30 frame and now it is a little bit longer than we expected so I'm going to fast forward it a little bit in order to fast forward the speed the clip on the timeline all you need to do is to press con control key on your keyboard and move your mouse to the end of the clip and then click and then drag it to the left okay so now we have an end screen ready to use right and now if you want to use this end screen video for your next project you can just do like this firstly select the file option right here and select save project as template just click save project as template and now it is in your project template and you can use it for later for, for your next project for example if I have another video so we go back to the download folder you are making video or vlog or some, something like that I want to have this video this video on the timeline and now if I want to add an end screen all I need to do is to put the playhead at the end of the video and go back to my media folder okay so go to custom we have a custom folder here where we have all the template that we saved before and this is the end screen that we have just saved and now I can change it, uh, change it name and screen with two video. Okay, and we can change it. And now we can just drag and drop it at the end of the video. Okay, 
and now we have a beautiful end screen at the end of the video easily very nice right and that is how to make an end screen for your YouTube video and remember to export the video also if you want to export the video in February 11 without watermark you need to purchase the license if you want to purchase the license don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code which is in the description I hope this video is helpful for you and if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.